Good morning, everyone. Hello, and how are you? And hope everybody's doing well. And I just have to show you my happy mail. That's because I got this, and well, I got two happy mails. So let me show you this one first. I'm going to show you this one first because this one came first. And um, this comes from this comes from um, um, oh, good God, Diane. Diane, she don't live far from me, really. One day, maybe I'll get to meet her. Let me see. Oh. She, um, she sent, there's a little card here with these pineapples on it. And it says, um, here are fa a few hats I made to add to your, your yearly hat donation. My mom, who is an avid knitter, watched me make one and wanted to try it herself. One of the hats included she made. She has since bought her own looms and has been making lots of hats. And then she says, I couldn't send hats without sending something for you. I hope you enjoy. Love, Diane. And so this here must be what's for me. So let's look at these hats first, though. Look at there. Look at this one. Oh, so soft. This year, I had, my goal was 150 hats, and my amount of hats to be donated, which half of them are already donated, they're already um, gone, but my I have them in two great big um, bags, those um, bags that you can seal up with a vacuum cleaner. No, I don't remember which one. But, um, and she's got to pick up the second bag. But this, we had about, now with these ones, about 225 hats. 225, I think was about, about the total with this. These, look at this one here, how pretty. So soft. Look at them pom-poms on there. Look at that yellow one. How pretty. These, I, you know, the people have so many to choose from. Because um, Michael, who is the, um, the, the person that is in charge of the bus, they just set them out on a little table and... Um, when they're doing their medical testing and whatnot, they just set them out on the little te um, table and let the uh, homeless folks, houseless folks, um, choose one. And, um, and I bet they have a hard time choosing when they see. Look at this one here. Now this one is done up a little bit differently. That's nice. That is really nice, because these look like they're done on the loom. This one, that one might be done on the loom, too. I don't know. That's pretty. Look at this one. As you can tell, I done looked in this box once. God, that's pretty. It's so soft and, and fuzzy. Sometimes I wonder, what in the world kind of yarn? This is pretty and so soft. That is so pretty. Look at this one. Oh my word on this one. This is adorable. I mean, this is some kind of crunchy, not crunchy, it's fuzzy, but it's lumpy. <laughs> it's, the yarn is just beautiful on here. And the little baby pom-pom on it. And then this green one. It's like a green and a black. The yarn is almost like a green or teal and flecked with black. So pretty. And then this one. So beautiful. These are nice. Look at this one. Somebody stole this one from a rainbow. I love it. Look at that. These are beautiful. You all Diana, you did. Diane, you did beautiful. Thank you. You thank your mother so much for helping. 
and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 hats in here to go um, for our yearly donation, and this is just amazing. Just amazing. That's beautiful. Now, now I haven't opened this part of it because she said she put in this something, a little something for me, she says. So let's see if we can. I'm just trying to adjust my camera a little bit so we can see whatever this is. Well, it looks like placemats for first, but look at this bow. <laughs> This bow is beautiful. And you know what? This bow is going to make the prettiest, the prettiest, um, the prettiest, um, either flowers or, um, or stars that I make. Now these, I have an order that I need to make seven stars for a lady that wants them for Christmas and so this is going to this piece of fabric is definitely going to be used on that because she wants some Christmas fabrics oh my goodness oh my oh my goodness <laughs> I could see from the outside that it was um, placemats but look at there what she's got in there <gasps> look at this fabric Look at there, Santa's Workshop, it says, on the little red trucks. Dasher, that's on the wagon, little red wagon is on there. This is gorgeous. Oh, my gosh, there's a whole fat quarter there. That is beautiful. This is gorgeous fabric. Oh, Thank you. Oh, my word. That is beautiful. I don't even want to cut that one up. That is beautiful. Thank you. Oh, my word. And this one is Christmas. Oh, my gosh. They're all Christmas. Look at this one. And that's long enough I can use on the on a star. I'm really loving these stars. And then last night, yesterday afternoon, I did my sale, and I had stars, and they all sold. And they all sold, and then I got an order for seven more. And look at this. Now, this is a nice, really nice fabric. Who is that ever nice? Scotchgard, cotton. That is... And see, and that's Christmassy. And this one, oh my word. I'm already looking at what would I put together. These two together for a star. Yeah, that would be pretty. Oh my goodness. I don't even have one of my stars left anymore to show you if, in case you hadn't seen them. But because they all, now I got everything is all packaged up. All I have to do now is to write the thank you notes write the thank you notes and then um get them measured and weighed i should have everybody's invoice out by the end of the day because i kind of just woke up kind of just woke up because i didn't go to bed till late last night because I got all of my everything packaged up after the sale and then I um oh I just have to fold that and oh my word look at this one oh my word look at this one isn't that adorable oh and all of my um all of my water soaker koozies they um they all sold too. Look at this. Hi, sweet child. Hi. I'm looking this was a happy meal I got from Diane with a oh, whole bunch oh, of more oh, hats. They were beautiful. Oh. And this all this fabric she sent. Nice. And it's all Christmassy fabric. Oh nice. And look at this one. 
Okay. That's beautiful. Oh my, it's all Christmas fabrics. Look at this with them trees. Yeah, well, absolutely. Well, I needed Christmas material because I had an order to make some more stars. Oh, this one. Look at this. There's two different plaids, very similar, but but not exactly the same. And they're beautiful. Thank you, Diane. And then this one. Oh, my gosh. These are amazing. <laughs> Look at that little one with all the little Santa Clauses on them. Oh, this is in the shape of a Christmas tree. That is a Christmas tree. Oh, my beautiful. Oh, look at this. All the little snowmen. That's similar. Not exactly the same as that one, but similar. And look at this. Oh, my word. Oh, and there's a little, there's a little piece of satin. And that's got poinsettias in the satin. These are gorgeous. And just when I needed them, too. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. It's a large piece. Got all them snowflakes. And this one. Perfect. Is it four inches wide? It is exactly four inches wide. So this is already perfect for one. And this, oh my, these are amazing. Diane, thank you. Oh my word. And then here is two of these. Oh my gosh, these are pretty. Oh, and then two more. They're like in the shape of like a, a teardrop or a. These must have been cut for like a, maybe a quilt of sort of some sort. And then stars with gold. Oh my gosh. This thank you so much. And look at the polka dots. Oh my word. And look at these are stars. Christmas stars. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Oh, I thought that was placemats, but I don't think so. And here's another one that's this here shape. But I thought this was a placemat. I thought these were placemats. These are not placemats. This is a this, and it's not a they. Oh, my gosh. It is a whole table runner. It is long. Look at this. This is, it's twice this length. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. So this is two yards long. It's a two yard long placemat. This is beautiful. I'm not cutting this apart. This is going to go on my table. This is beautiful. Yeah, when she had it like rolled up, I thought it, I just immediately thought it was placemats. But it's not. It's a table runner. And it is beautiful. Oh my gosh. How exciting is that? That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. And this would make a beautiful down the center of my table. Oh my gosh. Is that pretty? Oh. That's amazing. Thank you, Diane. That is perfect. Now I have another. Oh, I have another package, and this one I don't even want to open because look at how, this is how it come in the mail. In the mail, this came all the way through the mail, through the postal orifice. People seen it from Wisconsin all the way to Florida. I wonder what the what the postal people thought of this package. I mean, there is so much um, 
scraps. It is just all scraps and it is a fabric. And that's how this box is wrapped. Mm -hmm. This is just beautiful. This must have taken, oh, this comes from Carmen. Now, Carmen, okay, she sent me a message, too. She said, look at these handmade, happy sewing, queen of scraps, scrapping Lizzie, she put. Okay, because she said, Oh my gosh. And then look here. It's cut like along the edge of the flowers. This is fabric. And then of course the label is paper. But she said in the message, she said, I, I put together, wait a minute. She said the black thread so that you can use the, I'm looking for the black thread. Okay. She said, oh, right here, right here, right here. Oh, this along here, along here, and here is black thread. That's where she said to open it with the black thread. So I will do that. I just so I just love the box. I gotta hug the box. Oh, hug the box. Oh my gosh! And so the black thread. So see, what the work she did just to um to the work she did just to wrap this to make the fabric. Out of her scrap, which she does things out of scraps, that is just absolutely amazing. And um, and so now I have to get this. She stitched this, also hand stitched it then, all the way around. Well, just let me. Well, you know what I need to be using is a seam ripper. That'll be easier and faster. I'll just cut the black thread. It feels like it's also glued. I don't know. Let me just... Okay, y'all just sit back and relax. Don't get all excited. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know about not getting excited. Let me see. I hope I'm pulling on the right threads. Had the black thread. That's what I'm doing. I'm, but it feels like it's glued still under the thread. Let me see. She says I. She said in my message. She said I put put it on there with the black thread in case you want to reuse the box. Oh, I mean, I think it's. I think I'm seeing the light of day here. Oh, look at all the pretty fabrics. Oh, you guys, are you as excited as I am excited? It's just like, I have never, I just imagine what the postal people just thought as they're throwing this here box around. I'm lucky nobody stole it. Nobody ripped it off, you know. Like the postal orifice, a lot of things get lost in the post office. And especially this time of the year, I would think a lot of things kind of accidentally, on purpose, get lost. Well, no, why would they do that? Because they don't know what's in it. They might say, oh, well, see, they would have stole this one for the box. They wouldn't care what was in it. Okay, wait, you guys, I'm I'm in deep thought. Oh, you guys go ahead. I'm talking to my peeps. Cortez? 
actually fit into that one. Oh, sorry, you guys. I got all quiet and stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. She's going to watch this video like, why you did all that, Lizzie? Just a minute. Because I think I'm seeing something now. What are you seeing? It looks like she said she said to take it apart at the black thread mm -hmm. in case I wanted to reuse the box. Mm -hmm. And I got a feeling this once I get this open mm -hmm. that the whole thing will just open like mm -hmm. a box. Like a box, huh? Yeah. And it is going to. It is. Oh, I almost got it, you guys. This I Uh-huh. I was just trying to listen to my fam talk to her, talk the, uh, behind my face. I mean, in front of my face. I, I, was, it, I hear them conversing about going to Walmart. Look how it opens. I see what she meant. Oh, my word. Mm -hmm. More thread to cut. Yeah, I about got it, though. Look at this. Look this is what she meant but i could Pretty reuse cool. the box look at this is a whole box jeez and it's i can just that I oh my wait forever to do it looks like i know yeah. that look at that i can pull these little black threads off of here i'm glad she um sent me the carmen i'm glad you sent me the message to tell me to pull the black threads, otherwise I would have ruined this box. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Okay, anyway. Anyways. So I will have this box forever. And so then that makes this is Queen of Scraps. It's on the front. And the label is on the back. This is beautiful. And so... See, here's some sticky dots. Note, in the little gold purse is your surprise I made for you. So excited, can't even write decent. Oh, just know that your Crazy Patch box was decorated with Crazy Patch work done many years ago. All items handmade, no pattern. Hope you love your little dolly. Oh, and I had to make her a little round quilt to cover her stand. Hope that covers everything. Over for P.S. Way on the bottom of your box is a design that I added a whole lot of stitching to. Oh, and I forgot to mention the crazy patch piece with the words I was going to frame, but this way you can use it as you wish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is awesome. And look at this. Carmen, you are amazing. Oh, look at this beautiful bubble wrap. <laughs> oh, and it's the good kind that you can actually pop. Some of them is, some bubble wrap is generic and you can't hardly pop it. Oh, oh my word. Look. <laughs> Oh, just a minute. I gotta, now I have to move my box, my treasure chest. That's not, uh, not a box. It's a treasure chest. Oh, wait a minute. Her hair got a little bit unruly in the trip. Look at her. Oh, my gosh. Give, give her some scraps, and she goes nuts. Mm. Look, oh my gosh, and her, look at her silver dress. Mm -hmm. She's ready for um, New Year's Eve party. Oh, excuse me, she's got bed head here. We gotta fix that. The, oh my gosh, and then Did her. She that big? Yeah, she does the whole thing. Mm. Oh my word. This is beautiful. And look at this, she's on the stand here. 
and it's all crazy patched around. And she's like me. She, she loves the raw edges of fabrics. Give her some scraps. And she goes nuts. Look at her bow here. Oh, my gosh. Look at this beautiful outfit. Oh, she's, and see her little legs. She can be kicking up her legs if she wants to, like a little burlesque dancer, except with more clothes. Oh, my word, how pretty. She is beautiful. Okay, and then, let's see, what else can I find in this treasure chest? Oh, oh, this must be the one she said she was thinking about framing, but um, I can do something. Oh, my gosh. Joy in simple things, attitude of gratitude, love works. Oh, that is gorgeous. And look, it's just all little tiny scraps and just all stitched together. This is beautiful. Now, this is what I call scrap quilting and crumb quilting. Um, because even some videos I've watched of crumb, because I search all videos that people do things with scraps. And a lot of time, and, and crumbs, but a lot of, well, what they call little bitty scraps like this, they call crumbs. I mean, look how little tiny that one is right there. Just tiny. And this is what I really, this I really, really feel like is crumb quilting or scrapping because it is the little bitty tiny scraps, but they're all sewed together. They're all put together. And then this, this is art right here. This is a work of art. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I'm thinking that this might make a front cover of a journal. If that is, if I take a piece of board, uh, what I like to use on my journal covers sometimes when I have more than just the fabric. I, um, I'm, although I could do this with, just with the fabric, but what I like to use is a board gag, like a, like off a Scrabble board, you know, the board part, and I cut it to the size of the cover, and then I cut the cover the cover. I might do that with this. Um, but I just got it, so I got a lot of time for this to go through my mind. But this is what I call really scrapping. This is scrapping. This is, this is scrap quilting with no, I mean, you don't have to match edges. You don't have, there's no seams in it. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Fascinator hats. <laughs> Fascinator hats and handbags. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This. Look at this. Girl. Oh my goodness. Satin lined. It's a little bit handbag for my lady. Oh, my word. Look at there. She can just hang on to her handbag in case she wants to go to the thrift shop. Oh, and then this is a little hat. Oh, no, this could be a ring. This could be a ring. So I have rings on my fingers, bells on my toes. I will have music wherever I go. Look, look at that. This can be my ring. Might be supposed to be a fascinator hat. I don't know, but it's a ring now. Now how can she go shopping when she can't even decide which pocketbook she wants to bring? So now she'll have to take her um, one on each hand. Look, look at those little hands with their little fingers. How beautiful. Now see, she's got her. Look at their bendable, too. Oh, man. 
Oh no, now she's ran out of hats. Oh, and look at here. Oh, I used to make these years ago. But this is a bracelet that will fit anybody. And for my wrists, we need a bracelet that will fit anybody. Because, you know, sometimes they say one size fits all, and they don't. Look at that. All these little pieces are magnets. And look at it. All magnets to... Well, look at there at me. Look at me. This is so pretty. Oh, my God. That's the end of the treasure box. Look at this box. Was this one of her little but? Yep, butter. Butter box. Look at that. Oh my God. And scraps. Little tiny scraps. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. And then in here. We ain't done yet. Look. Inside of this bag. Now she'll use this bag when she goes. And look, it's a drawstring. Oh my goodness. Ma'am, can you carry this here to here? You have to. You have to. Somebody needs to carry this. There you go. I'll get your sister in a minute. She's uh, Your sister is already here. Okay, and then this. Oh. Look at this. Look at there's her hat. And this is another hat. Well, your sister. I have to. I have to get your sister. Because she. I think you're going to share these. You guys, hang on just a second. I have to um, go get her sister. Just a minute. I'm going to put you on pause for a second here. This is the pause. Okay. I went and got her sister. Her sister came in a previous on a previous train, and so. Um, well, she holds on to this unicorn. For me, because somebody needs to. But look, see, now this is her sister. Oh, my word. Oh, I love them together. But see, now her sister, she can share these things with her sister. Oh, my word. These must be the fascinator hat. Here, your sister will help you hold this. Oh, my goodness. I got hung up on your finger. I'm sorry, darling. Didn't mean to hurt you. Okay. Now, so, see, this is her sister. She's been here for about a year now. And it took her sister this long to get here. Oh, my gosh. This is gorgeous. This is what I used for the Fascinator Hats base. Oh, you know what these are? These are like when you when you pull out Carmen finds a use for everything. Like this here was like what you pull out of a, a seal in a bottle or a jar of some kind. And then this is the little seal. And she found a use for the seals to make the fascinator hats. So I have little hair clips that I can, oh, there, now that one sits right on her. Now this, she's already got, look at her hair, how pretty. She's already got a crown, but still this matches. A lot of purple. Oh, now I'm going to have to play, 
figure out how I can. But that's what that is. This is amazing. Oh, my word. Thank you so much. These are beautiful. Look, see, she sits right on this box. She sits right on that box, and she'll sit down on the box. So she's tired. She's tired. She's been at the thrift shop. She's been at the thrift shop. She bought her new hat at the thrift shop. And, and so, so she can just hold her hat right there in her hand even to say, look what I found at the thrift shop. And she can sit down here. And look at that, how pretty. Oh, my word. Another one? This is the one she sent me before. This one oh. she just now. Oh, okay. But I had to go get her sister off the shelf. So, oh, I see. So they could be together, because they want to be together. I'm going to stay on the phone for a second. Oh, I just messed up your... I think I hit that mouse, because look, your oh, thing is gone. where's my... Um... Oh, there it is. Oh, we're still going, yes. You did really good. You did good. Okay, and oh my gosh, look in here. Look in the onion bag, you guys. <gasps> look at these hats. Oh, my, they're not going to know what to wear. Oh my goodness. They can share and they can trade. and Oh my word. And look at the flowers. I just love me some flowers. Now, these look like these flowers. Don't they look like they're made out of clouds? I think they're made out of dryer sheets. I think. That is pretty. Mm. And denim. Love the denim. Denim flowers. Denim. How pretty. I just love me some flowers. I just, well, you all know I love flowers. I just keep making different ones. And look at these. Look at this. Oh my, did you see my ring? Mm -hmm. They're beautiful. beautiful yes. And the bracelet. Oh my lord. Yes. That was all in the box? I know. <laughs> look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at these. These might have to live on the top of that the original big box. I might add these. This looks like it's... I always try and dissect everything and figure out how it's been made. But look at this. All the different lace and the trims. And look at that. Look at these flowers. Now, if either one of these ladies want to get married, and if they find a husband worth marrying... They could use these as their bouquet. This could be a bouquet. Yeah. But they're having these. They have them just in case the time ever arises. Oh, my gosh. Are they, this is so amazing. Oh, and here's some pink bubble wrap. Oh. Oh, and look at here. Oh, sweet, sweet, handmade love. I love you. And look at that. I won I looked at the back first, and I go, oh, but that's backwards. Then I say, that's because I was holding it upside down. Isn't that pretty? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm, this stuff might go to the top of that box. And, oh my. Oh, and let's see. Oh, oh I almost dropped this one. See here, she comes up with these little tiny scraps. And the little tiny scraps, you just build up on them, and there's everything. Oh, my God. Oh, this here. She had showed this to me. I think that's what she showed. This is actually a pillow cover. Well, maybe that's not a pillow cover. Let's see. 
it's just, okay, this is just beautiful. But it could be a pillow cover. But look at this, how it's all quilted in there. It's all pieced in there. That is beautiful. Oh, my word. All the pieces in this. I've got to get my my room divider thing put back up in here somewhere where I can tack some of this stuff up on it. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Carmen. This is beautiful. Oh, my God. This is just absolutely amazing. Mm. This, look at this. That's all little tiny bit of scraps. Just all so... Oh, I was showing my daughter. She wasn't in here. Oh, these are beautiful. Oh, my gosh. You know, so after all of this excitement, I have to get my box of... Oh, there they are. They have me that box right there of the... Yeah. Spirit cards. Spirit cards. And I'm going to pick one of these postcards from Spirit. And I'm going to reach in here and get one out of the middle that I haven't read yet. I don't know. I might have read it, but who knows. And I'm going to read this. And, um, dear you. And these are our postcards from Spirit. Our ancestors wrote these and sent them to us. Dear you, there is always more than one side to an argument. Two sides, if not more to every story, and hundreds of ways to be right. And where's my glasses? Oh, here, this to meet you guys. The one side of this story means that I need to, um, wait a minute, I lost the thing. I got to make sure I'm still going. Yeah, I'm still going. Okay. Then um, glasses helps. Then we'll start this over with glasses. Dear you, there is always more than one side to an argument, two sides, if not more, to every story and hundreds of ways to be right, be different, be at odds, and so on. Today we suggest that instead of looking for differences, you find a meeting place of agreement and approach this experience with understanding and compassion. Seek common ground to understand how other, the other person thinks or how an alternate plan may be laid. Stay out of judgment too. Observe, discern, but accept that others have different stories, experiences, and journeys. And some people might refuse to remain open to others' point of view. No matter what, you've been presented with a great opportunity to explore a new way of doing things. Once common ground is reached, you're attracting people in situations that enrich your life and bring you wonderful things to learn. We love you so much. That is so true that everybody has a different story. Everyone has maybe a different way of looking at things. And we put all of these together. And that's what makes our world such a wonderful place. We are all different. If we were all exactly the same, this place would be boring, boring, boring. And if we didn't have somebody that makes their own choices of what they want to do, I wouldn't have these girls sitting right here because these are just from the imagination of just one person. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about Oh, this is, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Carmen. I love it. This is beautiful. Now I don't have any space to craft because I have all my stuff right here and I don't want to move it. I want it to stay here for life. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for coming and staying with me and enjoying Uncle David. Oh, just go ahead and dismiss your mom now. I'll call him later. My Uncle David, I'll talk mm -hmm. to him later. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're still checking that stuff out, eh? I know, because here it says, up here I didn't even see, it says, sweet homemade. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is beautiful.
Thank you so much, Carmen. I ask God to watch over each and every one of you, every step you take, every move you make, and um, keep you safe and secure, keep you happy, humble, and healthy. And I will see you on the next video. I'm just blown away by all these gifts from Diane and Carmen. God bless you all. God bless you all. And thank you for coming. And then I got to find the stop button. Okay, right there it is.